ice is just one of those things you never really give much thought to. I mean, how difficult can it be? Take water, add some cold, wait a while, presto, you've got ice. And now, thanks to technology, it's ready in your freezer anytime you need it. Of course, it wasn't always that easy. Well, there are some folks here in Gloucester, Massachusetts who take that ice very seriously. Ice is their job. And for the past 160 years, the folks here at Cape Pond Ice have taken great pride in turning water, cold, and time into the clearest and coldest stuff on Earth. No wonder they've earned the nickname the coolest guys around. Welcome to Cape Pond Ice. All right, here we go. My name is Scott Memhard, and I'm the president and general manager here at Cape Pond Ice Company. Mm -hmm. I've been here uh, since 1983, so I've been in the ice business at uh, Cape Pond in Gloucester for 26 years. My dad and I formed a group to buy the business in 1983, but the company actually dates back to 1848, so we're 161 years old. For a company to be around for 160 years, can you explain a little bit about maybe what separates Cape Pond Ice from the competitors? Yeah, that... The interesting part to your question is that it, it's uh, the competition really relates to changes that have occurred in that 160 years in both the technology of our industry and the markets that we serve. Because mm -hmm. when this company was founded, people couldn't walk into their kitchens and open the freezer side of your refrigerator and have ice sitting there. Right. Because when the company started, obviously there was no refrigeration, there was no uh, electricity, no cell phones, no internet, no video. So people relied on the ice man to harvest the natural ice crop from local ponds and lakes mm -hmm. uh, when it had frozen, thanks to Mother Nature, uh, mm -hmm. thick enough. And it was typically, as you'll see in our videos, uh, almost 30 inches thick. Wow. Um, which is amazing because right now, you know, we're lucky enough if, if people can ice skate it. It's thick enough to ice skate on, let alone mm -hmm. harvest natural ice crop from. Uh, we use modern ammonia refrigeration technology. We still make 300 pound ice blocks, um, but we, we use a, an indoor tank to do it. Right. And we're still crushing, crushing and blowing those into the hold of fishing boats before they go fishing. This company was originally founded and ice was harvested from a lake, much like a, a crop Mm -hmm. of any other kind. Exactly like a crop. Has the climate changed that much in the past 160 years? I'm not a climate expert, but it would certainly appear to me that global warming has been happening for 30 or 40 years. We, we are on the coast, and so we are tempered by the Atlantic Ocean here, and the company did have an insurance policy even 100 odd years ago, uh, and if we had a mild winter, well, we would actually bring ice down by railroad car from Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. Our biggest competition right now is technology. And it's, it's the fact that people can make ice themselves at home, whether you're in right. re a restaurant, uh, at home, um, a fish processing plant, or even a fishing boat. Many of our fishing boat ice customers mm -hmm. um, have put in new technology that allows them either to have onboard ice making. Some of the, our, our ice customers have put in uh, refrigerated seawater chilling systems, so they actually can take uh, seawater and chill it down to 35 degrees and chill their fresh caught herring or mackerel in, in a brine solution that keeps them preserved and they've severed themselves from needing an ice company to supply them with the ice supply. And what do you tell somebody who, who comes in, uh, whether they're a fisherman with a, with a, with a boat and they're, and they're going out and they've been doing it for years or, or a consumer who's, who's just trying to stock their fridge, what do you tell them to keep them as a customer? You know, there, there's, you can't compete with a basic convenience of being yes. able to make ice yourself. So Absolutely. we end up being a, a backup supplier so that when your ice machine is broken down or when it's hot and the, the ice machine in the restaurant kitchen can't keep up, we're then there as a backup supplier. Yes, Same thing for the fishing boats. But well, you know what, why don't we go straight into the, into the actual uh, processing okay. facility. We always start right here. In the old days, Mother Nature did all our freezing for us for free. Yes. And it was a lot, a lot of ammonia. human labor. We well, smell a variety of things actually, but behind Greg is, the, uh, is our our central expense, uh, which is our electric meter. So we use electricity to do all the, the work that Mother Nature used to do for free. So to run, run our refrigeration compressor. Now it costs a lot of money. <laughs> our single biggest expense today is electricity to run the refrigeration system and then the water that we, have to, we, we buy to make our ice. The, the huge orange tank that you're just characterizing here is what holds the liquid ammonia and then the ammonia is pumped through the refrigeration compressors and then does all the refrigeration work out in the block ice tank and in the ice house and in our ice making machine up on the third floor. Now how many gallons does this does this orange tank here hold? About 5,000 gallons of, of liquid ammonia. Wow. 
We're in the, on the ground floor now of our Cape Pond Ice Ice House. Wow, look at that. The Gloucester Fisherman. He's looking a little careworn. He's actually been here in the Ice House for about 10 years. So this guy's been frozen like this for 10 years. Yeah, we've got Jimmy Hoffa upstairs. He's been here a lot longer. But <laughs> yeah, this is what a 300-pound block of ice looks like. It's uh, two feet wide, four feet tall, and a foot thick. It's slightly tapered, which allows us to get the ice out of the mold. As, as you can see, this is a almost virtually perfectly clear block of ice. This is used for our premium sculpting. So we're going to step back out onto our loading dock, which is where the, uh, the trucks load up and then out of the wharf. Okay. Careful of that ice there. We use an industrial blower, which is basically a giant pump. Yep. to uh, blow the crushed ice down into the hold, into the boat, or in this case, into the insulated vats. Well, that's what two tons of ice looks like. Thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate your uh, showing us around, giving us a factory tour, and all the time you've spent with us today. I really appreciate your share, sharing our, uh, our history and our business with uh, all your public. Absolutely. It's this great. is Greg Bogosian. I get NewEngland.com. Mm -hmm.